done. So what else does the comic book powerhouse have up their sleeves for the mouth? No, we are. On this IMD Brief, with some help from Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige, we run down everything we know about the MCU's future on Disney+. The Marvel Cinematic Universe divides its films into phases, with the first three covering the formation of the Avengers, the rise of Thanos, and the Infinity Saga. This fourth phase is the first to be intertwined with a slate of new series premiering on Disney+, Plus, beginning with January 2021's WandaVision. Why would you think that? Because we asked the man with the plan, Kevin Feige, if the boldly stylized WandaVision would be the template for the upcoming series. And he gave us this preview of what to expect. This is probably the most um, overt level, black and white, old fashioned uh, aspect ratio, but all, every show. Um, I think is a bold, a creative swing for both the Marvel Studios and the MCU and uh, television. Uh, so I'm very excited about what we've already shown on Falcon Winter Soldier. That is a very big scale, epic uh, action buddy series that we're excited about. Loki, we've not said much about, but it is intriguingly different. And I think we've called it a crime thriller, which is not something you would necessarily and I, we enjoy that. We like that. And even when you get into Miss Marvel and She-Hulk, She-Hulk is a half-hour uh, legal comedy, which is exciting for us. And Miss Marvel is very much unabashedly a origin of a new superhero, but from a community you haven't seen that kind of representation from. And, and, and obviously, the comics did such an amazing job doing that with Miss Marvel that we wanted to uh, to bring that to the screen. Okay, that's a lot to take in. So let's break this down. First off. Hot on the heels of WandaVision comes March's buddy action comedy, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which finds Captain America's old pal Sam Wilson, aka Falcon, played by Anthony Mackie, and Bucky Barnes, aka The Winter Soldier, played by Sebastian Stan, teaming up to keep Cap's dreams of peace and freedom alive. Standing in their way are pesky anarchists, the Flag Smashers, and their former Civil War foe, Baron Zemo played by Daniel Bruhl. What's going on in that cyborg brain of yours? You don't want to know. In June, Loki revives Tom Hiddleston's titular tyrant for a time-hopping crime thriller. A softer, gentler Loki died during Infinity War, but thanks to Endgame's time heist, a past version of the still evil Norse god was able to nab the Tesseract after the events of the first Avengers film. But one can only disrupt space and time for so long before the Time Variance Authority comes Multiverse monitoring time cops, played by Owen Wilson and Gugu Mbatha Ra, among others, will be on Loki's trail as he goes full tilt on a time crime spree. Come on. What did you expect? In July, Black Widow will be the first Marvel movie to premiere on Disney Plus, although it'll also be available on the big screen at the same time, which could be a game the studio's upcoming theatrical releases. Starring Scarlett Johansson, Florence Pugh, Rachel Weisz, and David Harbour, this 24th MCU film will flash back to the past and fill in gaps in Nat's shocking history of fighting for both good and evil. At some point, we all have to choose. Two more series are slated for 2021. First, Hawkeye finds Jeremy Renner's Avenger, reflecting on his dark time as an assassin called Ronin after Thanos snaps his family into dust. While he also trains a replacement, a young protege named Kate Bishop, Einfeld. Please consider the consequences of your actions. Okay, they're considered. Okay, we gotta go. The final 2021 series, Miss Marvel, is based on the wildly popular comic book series that launched in 2014 about a fan fiction writing Muslim Pakistani American girl named Kamala Khan, who gains shape shifting powers. Played by newcomer Iman Vellani, Khan idolizes Brie Larson's Carol Danvers, hence her inspired super alter ego, and has already been announced as an integral role in 2022's Captain Marvel 2. Yeah, if you ever pass him back through this galaxy, be sure to give her brother a shout. The last that Kevin Feige mentioned, but hardly the final series they have planned, considering the MCU is roughly sketched out through 2028, is half-hour courtroom comedy She-Hulk, with Tatiana Maslany as the big green cousin of Bruce Banner. Mark Ruffalo returns to Hulk out, and surprisingly so does Tim Roth as Gamma Radiation Nightmare Abomination from 2008's The Incredible Hulk. Yeah. 
There's one more 2021 series, but this one is a little more animated than the others, literally. Each What If episode asks, what if this big moment from the MCU happened differently? and features many of your Marvel favorites reprising their roles, including the dearly departed Chadwick Boseman returning as Black Panther. Give me the tour. On the Disney Plus horizon for 2022 and beyond are the cosmically trippy Moon Knight starring Oscar Isaac and Ethan Hawke, the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special arriving in time to decorate your Christmas group, a Hawkeye spinoff about his protege Echo, a series set in the nation of Wakanda, and Secret Invasion with Ben Mendelsohn's Skrull leader Talos from the first Captain Marvel re-teaming with Samuel L. Jackson's Nick Fury to stop, well, a secret invasion of shape-shifting Skrull. Plus, there are two Iron Man spinoffs in the works. Iron Heart follows young inventor Riri Williams as she designs her own power suit, and Armor Wars focuses on Don Cheadle's James Rhodes, aka War Machine, trying to stop Tony Stark's tech from falling into the wrong hands. That's the whole story? Yeah, it's a War Machine story. Oh, this is very good then. For more MCU mayhem and trending tales, stay glued to imdb.com slash imdbrief.